Hey guys, how's it going? It's my again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to take the time to invite you to subscribe to the channel. It's been an amazing eight months of, you know, making videos and your subscription is really appreciated because that's really going to help me in bringing more content. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that today I'm going to be walking you through cloth. And in the previous video, we went through and look at the cloth component independently. Then this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be modifying some of the points in the cloth component, which are gonna be the vertices. We're gonna use the paint component to change how they react to the physics. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this lesson, which is going to be to paint some of the weights that we have in our Unity cloth component. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is the previous project that I posted in GitHub. So if you didn't watch the previous video, make sure that you watch that video and also you're more than welcome to download or clone the repository from, from GitHub. All right, so this is the scene that we created. Let me just close the, the asset store. And in the previous video, we basically did, a, did the default settings, which is just to add the cloth component and we added multiple colliders, which is basically every one of these spheres. So if I hit play, I want to show you how it looks like. Now what I can do is, and you saw this if you already watched the other video, what I can do is I can basically interact with the main sphere. So you can see that how the physics are reacting and it actually looks looks really, really cool. And I can, I can do some crazy things and I think I, I did too much force against that main sphere. All right, so what I want to do is I, I don't want to, I don't want to have this sphere flying around. I want to be able to constrain some of the points because at the end of the day, all these is are vertices that are reacting to the physics. So, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and let me, let me just put this one right here because we're going to be focusing on the, on the actual painting. So if you look at the cloth component, there are two different buttons in here. One is the edit clo cloth constraints. And the reason why I call it painting weights is because I'm used to doing that when it comes to rigging. So this is this is really the real term clo cloth constraints. And you're really doing painting. That's you can kind of see when I when I toggle it, you get this little panel right here that has different colors. And you can tell it, you know, if you want to look at the max distance, if you want to look at the surface penetration, and that allows you to toggle what you want to set. So if I go ahead and zoom in, and, and you remember that this was flying around, the, the other thing that I did on this component is I also have I also have gravity disabled. So let's go ahead and enable gravity. And if I enable gravity, obviously it's gonna fall to you know to the nowhere, I guess. So see how that's falling. So now if I hit play to stop it, let's go ahead and go back to that. So what I want to do is I want to use gravity. But I want to constrain how these these basically reacts. I want to use some of the points to constrain it so it doesn't really fall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edit cloth just like I did, and we're going to be changing the max distance. And you you know you can either paint it. You can go here and say okay I want the brush radius to be really big, and you can kind of you get this little circular overlay around, and you can paint a lot of those. And you can change the max distance. You can change the surface penetration value. What I'm going to work on is just setting the max distance. So let's go ahead and, and set this really low. Let's go ahead and do maybe about, I think, yeah, I think that all I want to do is really paint each point independently. So I'm going to change this value to zero. And then we're going to zoom in. And I'm going to say, OK, that point is going to be a zero. And you can see that as you change the value to zero, it changes the color. So if I were to change this to say number one, you can kind of see that it is a number from a zero to a one, green meaning the maximum value. I, I even think you can do, yeah, this just shows you, you know, as you go higher, the green value. But if I go to point, let's say 0.5, oh, we can either use the, oh, I don't believe we can do that. Let me go ahead and set it. But you get the idea that if we do zero, it's going to be red. Anything greater than zero, it's going to basically change up to green. So now that I have zero, that point changed to red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a point on each edge. So I'm going to do that point. I'm going to do that point. And I'm also going to do this point right here. 
and lastly the point on the very bottom so let's see how that works how that reacts to to the changes so if i hit play we will see that that's really cool now it's basically staying in place but it's using gravity you can see that this is falling and this as well the reason why it's not falling into the nowhere is because i have vertices that are constrained so i'm telling the system you know i want this to react to cloth but i want i want these vertices to ex to basically stay stay in place if i were to remove some of these ones that are on the side this is basically gonna look, gonna look like cloth so if i go back and we go into the edit and what we can do we can set it back to maybe like a one we can go back here and select that point now that point is green we can even go to to a long a larger number we can look at some of there we go i think i think that that works let's let's try a two let's try a two here as well and also a two here and in fact i i think i missed this one before okay so let's see what that does to our physics And that's what I was thinking that it was gonna do, that it was gonna look more like like cloth. And, and everything works. Like if I move, if I move this, you can see that that looks really, really cool. So so now what we can do, let's go back and select it again and click on our on our edit cloth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set I'm gonna set these to zero. And we're gonna paint them again. And let's go ahead and do that one. Let's go ahead and do that one. Let's go ahead and do that one as well. All right, and this one we don't want to, we didn't really want to, let's see if I can select, and there we go. Unconstrained is gonna be, let's see if I can do, I don't think I can, I can easily select it, but, but that's fine. I also set it to, let's just set it to a two go back into paint mode it's gonna be a two and let me see if I can select it and I think that I think that works because now I don't have I don't have any constraints on that okay perfect so now let's go ahead and hit play and we're gonna see what we saw before where everything is staying in place and you can see that everything is now is taking place but you can see how these areas right here are falling so what if we add more constraints? So I go in and let's go ahead and click on edit. And I'm going to add, let's go ahead and change this to zero. And maybe right here I can add one or or three. Let's try a couple in here, and then a couple in here, a couple of them in here as well. And we can, I think that works. Let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. So that that looks a lot cooler. So now what I can do is we can go ahead and you know I I can move this around. You can kind of see how that is affecting. And the physics, there you go. The physics make it look cool because it's falling into place. And you can see that here. Let's see if we hit play. Let's go ahead and play hit play one more time so we can focus on this area. If I go here, see how we have these basically falling? If we wanted to constrain that area, we can hit edit and maybe add a constraint right there and then right there. Hit play and you'll see that that is changing right away. There we go. So that, that looks really cool. So I still can do all of that. I can still collide with it. I can do one from the top and excellent so i can do i can do things like that so excellent so that's basically what i wanted to show you in this video the there is also another component that i that i haven't used just yet and and this is the the self collision i'm going to show you that on the next video but if you have any questions please let me know all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions please let me know also, be sure to check out GameDev.net. They have amazing resources for game developers. And I want to invite you to my Patreon page as well, 
The reason why I want to do that is because I'm putting a lot of content in there. I'm putting source code early on before I even post it in YouTube. I also have different tiers. Some of the tiers are basically to chat with me. You can have one-on-ones where we're chatting about, you know, anything that you want to know that I experience, that I have experience with. So be sure to check it out. Thank you guys.